And backstage at the 2013 WFMS Country Music Expo presented by AT&T, we're here in the Modern Trailer Sales Green Room talking with Jada Dreyer. And Jada, thank you so much for coming out today. Of course. Thanks for having me. It's what good to be back. Awesome performance. And you have had just the trip from you know where today. Oh, am I gosh. right? Yes. It's been ridiculous. We were... Uh, we went to bed. We played a show in Denver last night, and we got to bed at 2 o'clock, and my alarm went off at 2.50 to uh, go catch a plane that was supposed to leave at 5.30 this morning. And we get to the airport, and we get on the plane, and uh, about 10 minutes later, they tell us we have to get off the plane because that plane's no good. And so we had to get on a different airline, and my bag's still not here, but I'm here, so that's all that matters. (laughs) Which always makes you nervous. You're getting on a plane, and they say, oh, this one's no good. I know. You know what? So I guess it's a good thing we didn't get on, you know, we didn't take off. (laughs) Well, we got you here, and so excited to have you here, and police escort on the way over. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. (laughs) I could get used to that. Usually they're chasing me, but, you know, uh, it was crazy. We're, like, going down the wrong side of the road, and and going through red lights, and that was fun. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> I'm sure Shane took good care of you getting he you here. And glad he got you here in one piece. And now tell me about you growing up a little bit. You were all over the place, right? I mean, how many yeah. different states? Seven states. Tennessee is the seventh state that I've lived in. I was born in Thunder Bay, Ontario, raised in Canada. Iowa. Canada yep. gal, all right. Went from Iowa to Florida, Florida to Georgia, Georgia to California, California to Wisconsin, Wisconsin to Texas, Texas back to Georgia, and then I moved to Nashville. And and that doesn't include the various times I moved around within those states. So, and a lot I'm a of, walking Hank Snow song. You are like a gypsy. A I've gypsy, been everywhere. Bro, everywhere, yeah. yeah. And um, a lot of that traveling when you were younger, mm-hmm. you were uh, competing in horse shows, right? Yeah, I grew up showing horses professionally. I uh, won my first world championship when I was five and turned pro when I was 13 five. years old. Five. Now, you yeah. say you're showing horses. Mm-hmm. Talk to me. What are you doing? Are you jumping over the thing? Um, you know what? I did some of that, but what I ended up specializing in is um, it's quite a bit different. It's more like the best way that I can describe it. It's like ballet for horses. Oh, okay. I think I know what you're talking about. They dance and stuff. They play music. Kind of. Uh, no, they don't play music, no. but it's um, <laughs> it's uh, it's just it's more specialized than than the jumping stuff. Okay. So. Okay. Now the reason we got out <laughs> of the horse show yeah. thing was there an injury? I thought I remember yeah. seeing in your bio. Mm-hmm. I was. What uh, was that? I was uh, 16, turning 17, and uh, I uh, my back had always kind of bothered me, but I. I had my own business at that point and I was riding 10 to 12 horses a day and oh my, gosh. Um, my back really started to bug me and so I went to the doctor and he told me I had three degenerative discs in my lower back and if I continued to do what I was doing at that magnitude I'd probably be in a wheelchair by the time I was 25 so they wanted to do back surgery on me and I'm like you know what I'm 17 years old you're not gonna do back surgery on me yet <laughs> oh, yeah, that's scary. Um, so I, uh, you know, reevaluated my life plan a little bit, and the only other thing I knew that I did was I wrote songs, and I didn't know if they were any good or if anybody wanted to hear them, but I wasn't scared of moving, obviously, so made a couple trips to Nashville and and moved right on in. <laughs> right, and I also saw your bio that uh, you mentioned going from show to show, doing all this mm-hmm. traveling. It was you, yeah. your mom, yeah. and it, not to phrase a Kenny Chesney <laughs> tune, but the road and the radio. Yeah. You had that radio on and you were hearing all these songs and, yeah. and listening, trying to stay awake. And Yeah, that's totally what I credit to, to teaching me how to sing. You know, I, I've never had any kind of formal vocal training or, or anything like that. But, um, you know, just singing along with the radio, it's a can't have a better teacher than than the greats, right? <laughs> right, right. Now, California, you had to stop yep. in California. Mm-hmm. And that's when you really started, you picked up the guitar and started strumming and playing. Yeah, um, we actually, my mom and I, at that point in our life, she the she left her job and, and she didn't have another one to go to. And so um, we put all our stuff in storage and we were actually, we were living out of our car at that point. And uh, uh, we met a guy at, uh, we were getting our car fixed and uh, he was there and, he kind of heard our story a little bit and he had a son who was in a heavy metal screamo rock band, rock rock band. band. yeah yeah and uh they took us in and they let us live in their house in the foothills of san bernardino and um until we got back on our feet and you know he he wrote songs and play guitar and you know what i didn't was, have anything else band, to do, do you remember chrome blue 
Chrome Blue. That was their name. Right. They were local. They never really did much of anything. Wasn't but Van Halen, Motley Crue, Rad, or any of that. No, stuff. but they were. I mean, they were like heavy metal, like oh, the like scary stuff. Screamo. But I've heard. on a side, he wrote really cool, pretty little songs. So it was cool. Right. I wish I could find that guy. I've, you know, I've been looking for him the last, you know, five or six years, and can't find him. I just think it'd be cool if he knew what I was doing now, yeah, you know? I don't I've think he knew what an influence he had on me. Yeah, I've actually heard that that screaming like that. Yeah. You have to have vocal training to do that. You've got to, I've because heard. I don't yeah, know how you can hold up. Tear it up. You're going to rip easy. it up, yeah. I where I heard that. <laughs> so, okay, um, you've been out on the road with some pretty good company lately, haven't you? <laughs> I have. I've been lucky. Luke been out Bryan. with Luke Bryan, uh, Eric Church, Dirk Bentley, um, They've all been really good to me. You know, they put me out in front of them uh, a lot of times before I'd even signed my record deal. And so for guys like that to, to put an unsigned female artist in front of them, <coughs> pardon me, is, uh, you know, that was a big deal and, and a huge compliment. Sure. And uh, so it was really cool. You know, they taught me a lot and couldn't have asked what, to be out on the road with cooler guys. There you go. What's 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 one of the most valuable lessons you've learned from Luke Bryan? And I... And I I know these guys. Yeah. And Luke, A, I think he connects with the audience mm -hmm. better than anybody I've ever yeah. seen. He likes to clown around. Yeah. But all three of them, mm -hmm. their work ethic when it yeah. comes to, to drive. Because Dirk Bentley used to play our free stage yeah. years ago. <laughs> and I was in promotions at the time. Uh -huh. And good golly, he was out there signing autographs and taking pictures yeah. when they were shutting out the lights. Oh, so, yeah. So they, they definitely have a strong work ethic. But what's yeah. one of the, uh, what's something they taught you? You know, they each taught me something different. But probably just overall, all three of them, you know, is to to take care of the people that are good to you because you know when you're out here and you're doing this um you know that that's what you've got is is those people around you whether it be the fans or you know the crew guys loading in in the lights um you got to take care of the people that are good to you and i think the country artists do that a lot more than anybody else oh Once i definitely they embrace agree you, they root for you i think miranda they lambert do. said that at the acm awards like yeah. you know we're we're one big family we pull for each other and we help each other it's out, true and so. i mean i don't think you can look at another genre where you know you can get especially like at an event like this you know you can get 10 artists in a room and everybody's friends and, and appreciates each other and respects what we do you know um can you imagine putting like Conway, Kanye West and and yeah. you know Jay Z and all these people in a room? Like it wouldn't be the same kind of thing. You <laughs> know what agree. I mean? I agree. So, so there's a great camaraderie amongst everybody. Okay, I'm gonna go grab Jada Dryer's iPod. <laughs> see what's what are the last three songs that just played? Oh gosh, um, probably a, a Jesse Balin song. She's uh, married to a guy uh, who's in the rock band from Kings of Leon. She's really cool. I'm listening to her. Uh, a guy named Corb Lund from Canada, who's a really cool folky singer. And, um, golly, what else have I been listening to? Oh, I bought the Brad Paisley record. So I haven't oh, made it all, all way, I haven't made all the way through it yet, but uh, I've listened to a few off it. Right, so, right. Yeah. Well, well, Jada, thank you so much for coming out. Loved your performance. Thank Looking for you. big things. What's next for you? Gosh, I don't know. Just keep on keeping on. <laughs> I guess. I like to be surprised. <laughs> so I'm along for the ride, too. But, uh, uh, we go home and then back out on the road playing shows, taking the music to the peoples. Doing your thing. And the <laughs> album one more time, what's the title? I Am Jada Dryer, and it came out February 26th. Thank you so much for being here again, Thank Jada. Thank you so much. You're awesome.